Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to do a quick teardown of the ESP32 Game Boy Color for you guys. Here's the rear, obviously. Normal Game Boy Color shell. This here, you got the speaker, the membranes for the buttons, and the screen, which is actually slightly larger than a Game Boy Color screen, which I appreciate. Here's the internal PCB. You can see where the button pads are here and the LED. And here we got all the connection ports at the bottom, charging, headphones, battery stuffs, the Espressif chipset for the ESP32. Uh, there's the EXT port, which is used for deep flash, and the volume button. It's actually, let me see here. When you put this back together, you're going to want to make sure you put this in this way, facing out, towards the top. And you'll hear it, you just slide it back and forth when it's in place. It'll... It's all pretty straightforward. Now you're going to want to, when you put this back in, you want to make sure the speaker wire is out of the way. And there's a little square hole here that you can slide the ribbon cable back into. I always struggle with these ribbon cables. It's going to take me a minute to put this back in. I have huge hands and that's a tiny, tiny space. We'll see how it goes, but I have a feeling. The button's good. You want to make sure you line that up as well. So if you have the button up, you want it to be slid up, down, down. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Well, while I fight with this for a minute, um, the specs of this device, it's ESP32 dual core, clocked at 240 megahertz. There is, I believe, 512 kilobits of SRAM, 16 megabyte SPI flash memory. Uh, and what else was there? Screen, I believe it's 2.4 inches, if I'm not mistaken. 2.4, yeah. And it's 240 by 320. As you can see, I'm, I'm having a bit of issues here. I'll get it in a minute. I always do. You just got to get it flat first, and there we go. There. Now, once it's in nice and snug, you just pop this back in here. So, for reassembly, you can... There's only three screws that actually hold, go in to hold the PCB, and they're uh, starred Phillips head. You can use the case as a reference because there's six holes in the case and you can see where all six holes go here. I'll do the majority of the reassembly, but that was all the hard stuff. Once I get to the tri-wing screws, I'll tell you about them, but I'm probably not going to make you watch me stick them all back. As I said, just use the case as a reference to see where the screws need to go. Uh, wait a minute. Not that hole. <laughs> Go to the right, all the way to the edge. There, that one, yep. There's two tri-wing screws underneath the batteries, and then four along the outside upper corners, top square of it. As you can see, it's all back in now. When you put this rear piece back on, you really want to make sure that you don't, uh, like there's a, yeah, you got to fit it through the little battery thing, but also, that ribbon cable, make sure you tuck it somewhere. Don't let it sit right above where the cart reader is, or what will happen is you'll close the case, and a piece of that ribbon cable will poke through and block you from inserting your cartridge. And yes, I learned that by doing it. So I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but uh, those are trialing screws. You need a special screwdriver from Nintendo Bits. But that's about it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And that's about it. Take care, guys. Talk to you again soon.